everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Um, what was our last run? Isaac, Eden, or Random? You know what? If I don't know, I think that means I have to go Eden. I thought that we maybe played Maggie last run, but I might be super off. This is a staggering amount of HP to start with that is a result of the body, I suppose. I, I am assuming that's the body. Although, you know what? The soul gives you three spirit arts, so it could be the soul as far as I know. Looks like our damage is decent. Rate of fire kind of sucks, but X, Z, N, S, 6, J, 6, Jar. There you go right there. And we will start with the tower card, which is extraordinarily useless, probably, if we have to be honest about it. And at least that is not Polyphemus. That is just Mom's Eye. Not a big deal. So obviously we're on a, a fantastic streak right now. I'm, I'm loving life again. I'm feeling like I know what's going on in the Binding of Isaac. For once. And that's obvious. I, I also know that I know that I don't know what's going on in the Binding of Isaac. But uh, I'm, I'm able to bend the game to my will a little bit here. Basically with the extraordinary amount of luck. I'm not literally able to bend the game to my will. At least not without the D6. But uh, I feel like we've been able to will some great items into existence. I don't really buy that. But it's a nice way to talk about the narrative, you know. This is... Uh, an Eden run that I'm not in love with right off the start, but uh, there's no denying that, you know, the one time I really like the body, assuming it is the body, we won't really be able to tell, I think, until uh, some bullets start whizzing by our head. Really? Come on. Um, assuming it is the body, I the only time I like the body is in the super, super early game. And we are in the super, super early game. Eden is a little bit like Judas a lot of the time, and... Uh, you know, you're find, you find yourself mostly being fragile at the start of the game, and then once you get past that, you have a chance to potentially ball out of control. Although, with no guaranteed deals with the devil, except for the one on the second floor. Uh, Judas probably has a little bit of an advantage, but Eden oftentimes starts with more HP, so there's a, there's a trade-off there in multiple different ways. Uh, for now, I know there's a Tinted Rock there. I would like to access this Tinted Rock. Please respond. For now, uh, I can't believe the tower card didn't get it. There's only four rocks left in the room that did not explode. I realized that I could try to, like, push one into another one. Or, like, push a bomb into the, the tinted rock, but... So many times when I do that, I end up getting hit. And then who knows? You know, we get hit, lose a spirit heart, I have a golden chest pop up, you waste my key, get nothing out of it. Uh, bombs are key, maybe? Range up. Well, uh, we're pretty much without recourse to do anything else on the rest of this floor, so... Guilt-free, I think we can move on here. I didn't squander any opportunities. We're half a spirit heart higher than we used to be. With a card ready to go and free access to our item room on the next floor. That's nice. I mean, it's not necessarily blowing the doors off this early or anything like that. And being on the cellar gives me uh, some pause. But I'm not too scared. I'm actually really happy we have a cube of meat. It being so sharp means that... Can do that right there. Are you... Sometimes they actually get trapped in the rock. I'm gonna go to the curse room right away. Because we can, mostly. And of course, there's the bomb we wanted. And there's a sun card, which is extremely valuable. Not so valuable are these spiders, which actually very nearly hit me there. Um, do we get a charge for killing them? No. Should have known that, actually. Sun card is a bit of a, a, a fickle beast here. I've been... I think I've actually devalued the sun card a little bit. In vanilla, it was the, the be-all, end-all. If you get a sun card... Come on, come on, come on. Get over here. Get over here. Ah, you dick! If you get a sun card uh, and you're rolling on red hearts, which is what you did in that game mostly, because there was no HP cap, you just stack up HP upgrades as high as they can possibly go most of the time, or much of the time, then it was like a... It was GG, basically. All you had to do was... Nah. All you had to do was make it to the chest and... Then you got free HP, potentially like 20 free HP. 20 might be a little ridiculous, but you can get over 12, you know? Those were the days when that was possible. Now, tend to rely a little bit more on spirit hearts. Black hearts exist. Very dumb damage on my part there. Um, black hearts exist now. It's, uh, it's a bit of a different beast. I tend to use it as like... A buffer for HP if I'm playing a blood bank or something like that and if you can get like the Necronomicon out of it that's something and if you get the compass effect out of it that's something so we're looking for like an odd numbered floor with a blood bank that isn't a cursed floor like curse of the lost or anything like that so it's a bit of a tricky get but we should be okay maybe uh, our damage is good enough that I would be expecting to get hit once maybe on this fight shouldn't be too bad uh, we have the orbitals we have little Steven helping us out ever so slightly. 
And we do have some bombs that we can throw in there if we wish. For now, I'm thinking, you know, I always get a little too aggressive on the haunt plays. I don't think I should have gotten that uh, extra damage from Kiva Meat there. I was standing a little bit too far away, in my estimation, but I'm, I'm happy that it worked out that way, of course. That incredibly dumb damage to try to push it. I'm always too aggressive when I fight the haunt. Let's be super aggressive when we fight the haunt. Luckily, we got super bandage because the game is not feeling like it should punish me for my idiocy, and I appreciate that. Don't get hit by that fire. Coffee hasn't quite hit the bloodstream yet. Okay. We can take both of these, or all of these. So I'm sorry to our deck of cards, but it's going to go. And then ability to fly. And then little brimstone. We are low on HP, of course. But this is a, a pretty powerful setup. Now we got one of the guppy items. We've been becoming guppy, like, literally... I don't know, maybe every run of the past six? This is the first one, like, I recorded five or six yesterday because I was in the mood and I was I was having a really good time with it. I wonder if we can get a... I'm, I'm assuming we're not going to get a pot out of this, but that is potentially even better. I am going to make our way to our shop here. Uh, I won't be able to blow up our donation machine, but I'm not really looking for a shop item. If I can get one, great. If I can't, not really that big of a deal. I'm just trying to basically get spirit hearts to keep us buffed up. Although now I see that our shop item is a uh, hive mind, so I will be trying to get it. I don't think it's going to be too likely. But we'll be trying to get it. Uh, we only need two more cents. Hive mind has been very helpful for us lately. Like I said, we've become guppy a ton lately. Even just with Guppy's head, it's it's a pretty extraordinary get. I don't know what I'm going to do about it. Okay, we got fires here. I don't know what I'm going to do about it if I don't get it. I mean, there's not... I, I need, like, a bomb or a penny. That'll do it. Sun card doesn't do shit for me. Could have allowed me to find the secret room. I just... I figured I'd kick it and see what happened. Yeah, we might be out of luck there. Although, with Spirit of the Night, we can't extinguish those. I think the odds of us getting a, a payout from the, the fire are substantially less than us getting a payout from the poop, but... You know, we gotta do what we gotta do. Okay, there's two poops in here. Come on. Hive mind. These are not just poops anymore. These are the hive minds. <laughs> That's extremely valuable. Okay, we got some fires in here. They're not just fires. They're, they're what's gonna determine whether we get a spirit heart or whether we get hive fucking mind. God dang it. Okay. Nothing... Nothing. You know what? I don't even have the heart to go back. I need to use two of spades. We don't need the spirit art. We'll take the sun card with us. Let's get out of here. Maybe we can get a hive mind on the next floor. It does happen sometimes. You'll find the same item in multiple shots. Shops. And rusted key. Not immediately uh, that valuable, I guess, but... I'll take it. What are we looking for now? I mean, we just got small rock, and the ability to fly, and little brimstone, and guppy's head. It's good. If not great, uh, that, that deal with the devil we just had. I'm, I'm amazed. Well, thanks to the body, we actually had everything we needed to be able to pick them all up. So, damage-wise, we're in a fantastic position. HP-wise, is not bad. It looks bad, but it's not bad. There's the penny we needed. It's not bad until we start taking damage. The longer I go without getting hit, uh, the, the better this run looks. And that's true in every run, but it's never really... Or it's often not really displayed as elegantly as it's displayed here, as clearly as it's displayed here, we can say. Like, this is a really, really uh, good run offensively for this point in the game. Maybe not quite, you know, some of the ridiculous runs we've had lately. But our Achilles heel is going to be our HP. But the HP is actually one of the few things that's within our control. So let's try to play as well as possible and uh, keep ourselves in the driver's seat here to use every available sports cliche. In the meantime, we can probably uh, hit all those with that. And he's one hit away, I'm assuming. Mm, no, I barely got him at all before that, I guess. Got another shop, this time with uh, just enough money instead of just not enough money to make it happen. That's actually a double key room. I don't really want to do a double key room when I have an item room and a shop on this floor and I only have two keys. Uh, if I could get, well, if I could have kept my two of spades key and the sun key, maybe it would be uh, preferable. 
But I did not, and we probably should have been hit twice there. But we were not. That's going to go off in my face unless we get the knockback right. There we go. Another key, and Infamy. Infamy is a great pickup. Uh, it cost us a key to give us Infamy, which is what it normally does. So now we got three keys. We can open the golden chest or go to the double key room. I think the double key room has a better chance of being great for us. PhD. Almost always a no-brainer pickup, and... Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy the red heart. You're gonna be like, why would you buy the red heart? Ugh, okay, now you got a good point. Why would you buy the red heart? There's a red heart out there. I didn't realize that. But I remember buying PhD or getting a health upgrade for maybe like old bandage, then taking a three spirit heart deal with the devil and killing myself because I'm an idiot. That is uh the four room is bad for us right now. Let's re-roll everything. Like not re-roll our whole run, but re-roll all the item pedestals on the floor. What do we care about re-rolling all the item pedestals on the floor? It doesn't matter to us. We already picked up the, the ones we wanted. Uh, I am going to go back and actually open up uh, one of these golden chests. Let's see. It was not there. It is down here. And that's three more keys, which we can use to open the other golden chest. Maybe we will have a purpose for the four room anyway. No? Okay, yeah. Well worth it. We don't have a purpose for the four room, but uh, we did get Goathead, which is fantastic. I, I just walked on it at the end. I spent two keys, goddammit. I am going to get what I can get out of it. Why not get that bomb? That would be a silly oversight there. We are missing a little bit of the floor left over. My desire to experience the rest of the floor will be largely predicated upon uh, what happens next, I suppose. little scary there. Lost my brain for a couple of moments. Coffee still hasn't hit. Put it in overdrive. The coffee hasn't even entered the bloodstream yet, man. It's still too hot. We served the beverage at, at temperatures that are not conducive towards immediate consumption. Okay, well, I love a lot of these, but we gotta, we gotta go for the guppy dream. I'm lucky that I got the HP upgrade to begin with. Let's do a little bit more exploration. Again, mostly because we have the opportunity to do a little bit more exploration. I'm assuming that maybe there's even like a library or something like that available uh, on the rest of this run. The rest of this run, I mean the rest of this floor. Really happy with Curse of the Maze right now. It's being uh, really nice, really, really generous. Making me walk through the same room multiple times for effectively no purpose. Like I've already killed the, the main boss of this floor. I've, I, the landlord is dead and he's still charging me rent. He's got no estate. I can't believe you popped up from that little brimstone hit. I thought you would have stayed down. Um, I am trying to blow up as many mushrooms as we had. That's the thing with PhD. Once you get PhD, I mean, even before you get PhD, you want to take the best opportunities for those that you possibly can. But uh, with PhD, you can afford to go even a little deeper. You know, digging the bottom of the bottom of the barrel a little bit. That's super unfortunate. No bombs of my own design, admittedly. So the sun card's still not really that valuable here, but, you know, maybe that's a blessing in disguise. We can save it for later and use it on a future floor. Um, yeah, down to the next floor, I guess. And finally, a convenient opportunity for me to see if my caffeine addiction can be fueled. Let's try it. You know what? That's a little too hot, but I can deal with it. Mmm! No, I cannot. All right, we have an arcade. I will pay one cent in case there's a regular judgment. There is not. We might get some HP to be able to work with that. You know what I should have done is not use the four room. And this is uh, something I'm sure people are probably saying here. I should have not used... The oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll take this. Fucks with little brimstone, but it's fun. Uh, I should have not taken uh, or done the four room because then after I went into the deal with the devil, after getting the goat head, which we didn't need to get the four room to do, we just walk into the four room and get it. We didn't need to actually activate it. Um, we uh, see our deals with the devil, can't afford any of them because they're red hearts after the guppy's tail pickup. So we uh, go to the four room, re-roll it, and if standard re-rolling principle applies, they should re-roll into red heart deals. Sorry, spirit heart deals because we have no red hearts. Usually that's how it works. 
a little bit brain bending here to have to use a uh, little brimstone in conjunction with Ludovico technique. I think maybe the way we'll do it is we'll walk into the room, open up with a little brimstone shot, and then follow it up with like finishing the job with Ludovico, which seems completely reasonable to me. Now we're only oh yeah, we can take it. Let's just open this first for safekeeping. Um, 48 hour energy, speed up, save 48 hour energy temporarily. We only need one more guppy item to actually be able to uh, become guppy. Still a little salty over the lack of hive mind. There we go. Just hold Ludovico there. I'm, I'm getting a little too funky with my uh, with my play here. You know what? Try that. Finally got an opportunity to use that sun card. It might not have been the best opportunity to use the sun card, but what's done is done. As you can see, you know, our Ludovico technique damage is nothing to really write home about. You, you can kind of oscillate back and forth a little bit, and in doing so, charge up Little Brimstone. You do risk losing a lot of time uh, targeting the enemy. But it does do a lot more damage if you can swing it like that. I wouldn't really want to do it on a room where I also had to really worry about dodging, but since we can be so far away and we're relatively fast here, we can get away with it. Not that big of a deal. And we have 48 hour energy, which I don't I don't hate the idea of using it on um, Guppy's head, but you know, of course the the opportunity for us to pick up something that's maybe a little bit more immediately useful with 48 hour energy, even if we don't want to use it on this floor, like a uh, book of sin or something like that. If we only want to use it on this floor and never want to use it again, that could be uh, worth it with 48 hour energy. Let's check out our curse room. That's beautiful. Makes our Ludovico technique a lot more uh, desirable. For now, we are going to be a little bit behind schedule when it comes to uh, getting to Boss Rush, which is something that I'm not altogether too worried about. And this is a little bit... I don't want to say this is a one run. Little Brimstone, the ability to fly, two-thirds of being guppy, this early, uh, combined with Goathead, does give us insane potential for the future, but there's always a chance that things go wrong. Like that, for example, mostly because the human element is always there. There's our second pretty fly, which is pretty good. PhD as well. Okay, you know, when you when you actually stack up what we've got, this is a run that is actually very, very strong. But a lot of the things that I've got going on, like particular, um, in particular, I should say. We'll take our health upgrade. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't a health downgrade. I got a little bit uh, spooked about it for a minute. Um, in particular... Little Brimstone and Ludovico Technique don't play nice together. Stay at a half heart interval just in case we never get another opportunity to drop down to a half heart interval by the time we get to, you know, the Depths Part 2. It's pretty unlikely. It's pretty unlikely that I don't accidentally pick up a Red Heart in the meantime. I don't know, man. I think Little Brimstone's, like, doing most of the damage here. It's cramping my hand up to do this weird-ass, like, north-south sh shuffle here. There we go. And there we go. One single fly. Range upgrade we can't do anything about right now. Necronomicon, no thank you. That's where it starts to become a little bit, I don't want to say that it's a problem necessarily, but, you know, we do have Krampus tax coming up. One deal with the devil not turning out is not the end of the world at all, but, uh, you know, it's the kind of thing where if you get three or four or five of those in a row, then you start to talk about having a problem. Uh, this is basically just a, an HP upgrade, so I know that people are going to be like, Oh, you get fate every time, you lucky dog. And I am lucky that I get fate so often. Although, I don't, you know, do other people get fate all the time? I'm assuming the golden chest pool is pretty small. It's, it's mostly just math, I guess. Not really that much luck involved in it on, on fate specifically, you know? You, you miss 100% of the chests you don't open, is what I'm trying to say. But, uh, yeah, one HP upgrade, we already have the ability to fly. It's not a, a huge boost for us, but it is nice to have. Maybe it will end up being a huge boost. It allows me to take a deal with the devil I otherwise wouldn't be able to, but I'm thinking this floor feels like it's Curse of Darkness. It's a little bit of an omen, maybe. I'm feeling Krampus here. The Krampus Lump of Coal is fine by me. Y you probably noticed by now, I'm pretty much using Little Brimstone for, for all of our attacking purposes. Let's... I, I haven't really given... Ludovico Technique tier a shot since uh, picking up the mark, so I may be making a, a big mistake there. I think it's less damaging 
However, it's also a lot easier to target, so... I don't know. I'm not sure if it all comes out in the wash. This is probably a situation where we got, like, uh... You know, two-star players, but they work in different situations. And that's not, that's not a bad thing, necessarily. Just means that we don't have, like, a jack-of-all-trades, but... One thing's for sure, you know, the odds of, uh... Our Ludovico Technique getting... Technique? Ludovico Technique tier getting better... Than, uh... Little Brimstone... Is pretty high. All damage upgrades go through that. All tiers upgrades. All tier effects. Little Brimstone is kind of like... Oh, yeah, that's what we're looking for right there. Little Brimstone is kind of like... Uh, I don't want to say it's an early game carry only. But that's a big part of it. If you, Little Brimstone, Blue Baby's only friend are basically like... Hey! We might not give you any damage upgrades for the entirety of like the first six floors. But after that, you know... It's smooth sailing, just take this, you'll survive, I promise. It's dangerous to go alone. That is our fourth orbital. Uh, Pretty Fly, unfortunately, does exist in the same sphere as uh, Cube of Meat, so... I thought that we might get a Pretty Fly in addition to our Cube of Meat, but no, that's alright. Sometimes, you can get four, five orbitals, depending on which ones you get. Big Fan is one that slots in over top of other ones, for example. Um, but uh, not in this situation. Figured, oh man, no greed fight. That was actually a little stupid of me. We should totally buy the coin purse. We've had such a good rotation. Let's pick it up. And see what we get. Another pretty fly. We'll just keep taking them because we can. Another 48 hour energy. Balls of steel. Speed up. Yeah, these are fine. You know, I'll use 48 hour energy right now to just give myself a decent fly army. And then we'll carry this with us right now. Pretty good. Glad I saved the key. Speed upgrade was well worth it. I know we have little Chad. People, oh right, we don't have our own tiers. I was like trying to shoot at the uh, at the TNT barrel. There we go. Um, I know we have little Chad. People are going to have wanted us to take Dark Bomb. Dark Bomb is a family friendly favorite for the whole family. Fun for the whole friends and family of all ages. However, in our situation, um, I, I gotta put you know emphasis on the guppy. I almost said emphasis on the guppiness, which. Uh, Something about that doesn't strike me as <laughs> being so ladylike, you know? Alright. Experimental treatment will probably take. In the meantime, listen to the rhymes of the Dr. Dre and NWA. Yellow won the drum roll, taking the heat. I forget the rest of the... Anyway. That's, st that's still parental discretion is advised. I only know Cube's verse. Okay, so we get another level up there. Or another uh, HP upgrade there, I should say. As for... What we actually uh, got statistically, I cannot say, especially since we have Ludovico Technique masking what it could possibly be, but... I think I'm just gonna say, you know, uh, that, that's gonna do it for this floor, and we're gonna move down to the next floor. We still got 48 hour energy suited up here for something. The Gimpy pickup is only worth what we paid for it because we have a decent amount of red hearts. Lots of HP upgrade pills, fate, etc, etc came to our, our aid there. That doesn't mean that Gimpy's bad, but it's... I think Gimpy's a little bit overrated. To put it in sports terminology, Gimpy is like the dude on your team who, uh, you know, let's say you were playing baseball because it's statistically easy to model. Not the sport, but like the, the, the analogy here. It's statistically easy to model. Uh, Gimpy is the guy on your team who bats like 200 all year, meaning he only gets a hit once every five times he goes up to the plate. Uh, but then in the playoffs, he's hit like two walk-off home runs. So everyone's like, oh, he's so clutch, he's so clutch. But really, you know, it's it's probably just standard deviation. Like, do you think when the guy, do you think they believe that? Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I don't understand sports. I understand, you know, pressure. There are people who play better under pressure, there are people who play worse under pressure. Um, but I love the idea of clutch sports players. Where they play in like a super long regular season, and then they have like, you know, a fraction of that in playoff games. And if they play slightly better, people are like, oh, they're so clutch, man. They're so clutch. He hit two home runs in the playoffs in 16 games, when he averaged one home run every 16 games in the regular season. He's so clutch. Yo, dog, you gotta take a statistics class, man. It's gonna fuck up your narrative, but it'll illuminate a lot of, a lot of things for you, I think. Maybe he's just existing in the standard deviation right now. That being said, Claude Lemieux is clutch. Alright, we have no keys. 
That's not great. Uh, we also... I don't think we brought enough money down here to get into our boss trap room. Which is my way of saying we didn't bring enough money down here to get an arcade, so we can't play the arcade to get enough HP lost so we can get into the boss trap room. At this point, I'm pretty much just farming for keys, and I know I've been opening a lot of uh, red chests, or sorry, golden chests, but where the heck is Rusted Key paying out for us here? I'm missing out considerably. I'm still using Little Brimstone primarily. I'm not sure if that's a good sign. There is going to be, I wouldn't say an argument, but there's going to be a discussion I'll have with my coach. Should you have taken uh, Ludovico technique in this situation? The c conventional wisdom is probably not. However, I am not a conventionally wise man. Arguably uh, not wise in any definition, but uh, certainly not conventionally. So we're going to have to uh, reconcile that. As we get more and more damage, Ludovico technique becomes more and more of an attractive prospect. But for now, Little Brimstone pretty much allowing us to do whatever the F we want to do. So what do I care? No shop, no keys. We will look for a second secret room right there. Seemed pretty likely and was not there, so we'll just move along. All right, now we can just like post up Ludovico on the other side of the screen. Ludo! And then uh, use a little brimstone whenever it's available to hit these enemies on the side. This is probably a poor way to handle it, but it's, it's a novel way to handle it, that's for sure. How did that not hit anything? Let's be honest there. Great job. Just dodge right into it. What the? Oh, he was an exploding jerk hole. All right. HP is going to be a pretty uh, a little low here, but we got to take Brimstone now. Brimstone, Ludo, I don't even remember how it works. We're going to live, though. I know that much. Ah, that's what it does. Okay, so now, should you have taken Ludovico technique? Fuck yeah, bud. A little bit lucky, but also just an extraordinary uh, pickup there. Guppy dreams are not looking so hot anymore, you know? We uh, are already on the womb part one. If you get into the circle, that's very dangerous for me, but... Um, we, uh, we're on womb part one. And there's a pretty reasonable chance that, uh, you know, we fight Krampus on this floor. We've had a lot of deals with the devil and have not fought Krampus yet. That normally doesn't last forever. I will say... We don't necessarily, it would be awesome to become Guppy, but we don't necessarily need it because with uh, Ludo Brimstone, we're actually generating and kind of netting three flies per room, roughly. Like they, uh, we are killing enemies faster than our flies can kill them. We got to open that. We're going to lose all our flies here, but it's worth it. Uh, well, we got more flies back in return, but still. We, gotta, we even got some spiders over the course of the whole thing. That's pretty substantial damage. There's nothing wrong with that. And if it wasn't a one run before, it's looking very, very positive now, of course. Mysterious chocolate, not that interested. And by not that interested, I mean not at all interested. The only thing I hate about Ludovico Brimstone is that it covers up half of the goddamn screen. Don't expect me to find any tinted rocks, I'll probably leave some consumables behind. That's just uh, par for the course. I've got freaking, you know, Brimstone induced glaucoma here. Not to make light of anybody who has, you know, real glaucoma. Or even imagine glaucoma, you know? I, one of them is, you know, the hardship I'm imagining. Our final opportunity for something here, and it is, uh, it is Krampus. We figured it probably had to be, and we don't need to take his shit. We can just head down to the next floor, as is. No conquest either. No, uh, white pony, I should say. Alright, Curse of the Unk known. I don't really know what that means, but, uh, we'll experience it here. If I can find a curse room, I would very much like to. Uh, I, I have faith in the guppy dream to this day. I probably should not, though. The, the dream is probably a lie at this point. Is this a one run? Absolutely. Uh, I think this is going to take us to 13 wins. We got an Isaac run coming up next. I'm excited, man. Like, nah, not today, Bob's brain. I'm sorry. I'm excited, uh, you know, after that incredibly bad run of form to have a decent chance of coming back here. Feels good. And we are now, like, a little bit more, and I don't want to get too cocky, but we're a little bit more than halfway to my best run, or my best streak ever, which is still not that, uh, like, I was looking at the wrong screen. 
Which was ironic, because if you looked at my setup here, I was looking at the video playback monitor, which also has the game on it. I could play the whole thing on that if I wanted to. It's not really a valid excuse, but anyway. It's not that amazing in a professional context, but it would make me feel great if we could get, like, you know, the best streak that we've had since January, all of a sudden. And admittedly, a lot of that is just, uh, really, really good luck with these item drops. But still, I did not fuck it up. <laughs> this is one of the ones where it was very easy to not fuck it up, though. Starting with the, uh, starting with the body makes it pretty simple to just kind of keep it, keep your head above water, you know? All right, there is a curse room. And there's no guppy item. That's all right, though. Lose a spirit heart in the process, no big deal. I'm still taking explosive diarrhea. You never know if maybe you pick up sad bombs or something later. Keep it going, keep it going. And we'll enter into the next room. Mom's heart should be dead pretty much instantly here. Eh, pretty much. It does suck a little bit that we're not going to get any, um... We're likely, I should say, not going to get any crazy synergies. But oh well. You know what's a cool synergy? I had this... I can't remember if it was in one of my videos or one of the co-op videos I had with Kate. But we had, uh... Oh, not Guppy. That's okay. It's okay. Don't get beaten up over it. Um... We had, uh... Ludovico. Or I had Ludovico, Brimstone, and Spoonbender. And it... Basically just turns your Ludovico circle here into like a diamond that just lashes out at anything that gets close to it It's all like warping and shape and stuff like that It's a really really cool synergy and you know It's already super rare to get brimstone and ludo on the same run, but to get brimstone Ludovico and spoonbender is uh, You know, it's one of those like 1% or 0.5% kind of runs So I doubt it'll happen here, but we do have the whole chest left over with uh, guppy's tail involved as well to maybe make it happen so I should probably actually stop opening golden chests so that we can save our keys to open golden chests on the chest and give ourselves a better chance of getting some good stuff there. Even though golden chests have been great for us so far. If we get golden chests on the chest, we'll prefer those to golden chests on the, the cathedral, if I had to guess. Probably. Alright, keys please. The bombs I can't really see being useful, the money even less so. Wonder how fast you could do a speed run if the widow didn't. <laughs> I mean, I'm not. A, I'm not making the assessment that it'll have an enormous impact, but I wonder how like the world's best world record speed run times would go if the widow didn't have such a long death animation. And same for Monstro too. And same for the cage actually. And same for the gate actually. I'm not hating on the animations, you know. I'm glad that they're in there. It gives the game a little bit more flavor, but they do take a while sometimes. All right. Shielded tears would also be great for us. He almost got me there. Uh, yeah, Shielded Tears would be awesome. Not even going to use Little Brimstone at all because it's unnecessary. We're just going to grind him down on our, you know, lathe of lasers here. Head down to the chest and hope for some good pickups. But this is uh, another one run. It feels good, man. We were a bit in limbo there. Not that we were going to die, but we didn't know what our best uh, form of doing damage to the enemy was going to be. Probably one of the worst halls on the chest I've ever seen. I guess in in reality there's no reason not to take holy water except being annoyed by it. But man, holy water, Robo Baby 2.0, the poop and monster manual. Monster Manuel. It's uh it's a really bad selection. Dude, are you fucking me? Just come on here. Uh Demon's Tail, not necessary right now. Demon's Crest, well you'll have to talk to Nick about that one. Alright, if you could please drop... I mean, keys are fine, but I'm gonna need some more golden chests to make me feel better about the bullshit that we encountered as our actual drops here. Brimstone Ludo actually is one of my favorite uh, synergies in the game, just because of how different it is. Like, I don't know what you would actually expect from it. This could be cool, actually. Ah, here we go, yeah. Like I said, it's like a weird, like, polygonal shape that kind of bends to, uh, whatever's close to it. It's really neat. It's a shame we're not going to get it for more than one room, but yeah, there you go. At least you got the opportunity to see it. And you realize that Northern Lion's not just talking out of his ass. This... I don't even know what this will do. Apparently... Oh, it, it just slowly brings it towards me. That's not good. But it's not bad either. 
It only does it seems to do it at least when there's no enemies on the screen as well. This is the uh, the worst time to get a payout like uh, Thunder Thighs. There's no rocks on the chest. Unless I am losing my mind. Okay, so this is perfect. Get all of the envy parts trapped within the circle. Oh, it's beautiful. It's like the ultimate envy killing device. Yeah, we'll take... Uh, we'll take that. Don't really need the hermit. Getting a little too fast for our own uh, devices here. And this is a pretty short run, actually. It's always nice when you get a short run that's short because it's so powerful. As opposed to other myriad reasons. Nothing there. Just more red hearts. Not that salty about it, but man, imagine how much damage we'd be doing if we had Guppy as well. But you know what? I'll tell you what. Game, you don't have to give me Guppy on this run, because you've given me Guppy a lot lately. Just save it for next run and give me Guppy then. Maybe even in the first deal with the devil, if you don't mind. We've already been this way, but there might be a way down. Yeah, we haven't been down yet. But I'm assuming at this point we've seen so much, uh, you know, dead territory that we're probably looking at it being completely dead end over here. And it was indeed. Been up, right? Yeah. The real question is, has have we been through the desert on a horse with no name? And if so, how did it feel when we got outside of the precipitation in the area? Not happy with that. spider butt. Hmm. Well, we've already done like 15, 20 rooms. The chest can be a pretty big floor, but I would be very surprised. That doesn't do much for us. Uh, I'd be very surprised if we don't find it soonish. Infestation is, is something at least. It is helpful when we get hit. But I'm, I'm kind of looking for cooler synergies at this point. That was a uh, Spoonbender on the worst room to have Spoonbender on, if you ask me. Just like, went over to the enemy. Uh, gotcha. Alright, I'm off for the next few rooms. Where the hell do we go, game? Work with me. Talk to me. Tell me your name. Can't find the boss room in this silly game. So this is a, for sure, dead end. This is... For sure, dead end. And then on the right, I just want to make sure I'm 100% confident this side is a dead end. Okay. So it is on the left somewhere. We'll try up again. And I don't think I've gone up right if there's an opportunity to do that. Okay, that's a dead end. Then we would have come through here. And we maybe didn't go up. No, we did. Okay. That's re Okay, we went down there, I think. Yeah, so now this has got to be very, very close to our boss room. Uh, yeah, we'll open that. Samson's Chains. Again, no rocks, but they're going to make me uh, crush it any way I can. Much to my chagrin. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm, excuse me. Not today. Mr. Boom, I mean, we might as well take it into the fight, but uh, by might as well, I mean, you know, in a perfect world, we wouldn't have to. So we'll just pop the sun card to speed up the whole process a little bit. And that's going to do it. Ludovico Brimstone carries the day, as you would expect that it would. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.